Hey ladies and gents, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Dacia Jogger. This is the facelift with the new logo. So in this video, we're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details. And without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the new Dacia Jogger facelift and new rebranded redesign of the front logo. Now this is the 1.0 TCE. It's a three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine producing 110 horsepower and linked to six speed manual. This is the uh, extreme limited edition. Now let me show you the key fob here. So it's a new Dacia key fob, all black, lock, unlock, turn on the lights, lock, unlock the cargo space, keyless entry, of course. Unfortunately, mirrors don't fold, but if you unlock the car, you can see the turn signals. I can turn on the LED headlights. We have this gorgeous gray color with black details. So let's come a little bit closer and check it out. So checking the front headlights. Now this was the facelift, but with the new badge, which is white, obviously they've added this white details instead of chrome inside. And they added this black details as well. So you have Dacia there in black. We have two LED projectors. This is a bulb, same for the turn signal. So long beam is warm light, main headlights are cold lights. Now we have here actually same as the Sendera stepway we had on test, the whole front is identical. So we have this unpainted piece, little piano black, fog lights there, parking sensors integrated in black. We have this unpainted protection going around, a little gray accent there. We have the air intake on the top grill and at the bottom we have the radar for emergency braking. This is not for cruise distance, only braking for uh, pedestrians or cars in front of you. And we have the new logo in black. And I think it really stands out nicely and this white details stand out as well. Huge thanks to Dacia Croatia for giving me the car among the first in press. And yeah, let's check another detail here. So extreme limited edition, you can see the sticker there. Turn signals are also now white. So kind of stand out. Let me just show you the car from this angle. It is taller. Now inside you said almost like in a duster. Now I'll leave a link for technical details dimensions of the car, cargo space in the video description. There's gonna be two links, so check them out. Now, um, coming closer here. So these are 16 inch alloys. You can also get, I believe, steel wheels or this alloys in black. They look really nice. Got the new Dacia logo there. Showed you from the other side, Extreme Signature. And these are 205-60 R16, came on Continental Eco Contact 6 from the factory. And you can see here the Extreme Limited Edition sticker. So it's an extra sticker on the top here. You get the standard one um, at the bottom. You can also see here, this is the little protection at the bottom. Contrasting metallic black side mirrors. You can see this is gray, non-metallic color. Now, we check the wipers here. I um, think that the yeah, washer nozzles are there. And we have the light and rain sensor, the automatic wipers. Now, moving to the top here, we have this beginning part plastic roof racks. And then this part, that's metal, this is plastic. So you can push this to the top. There's a tool inside I'm gonna show you you get so you can uh, take these out and put them like that. So if that's more suitable for you. Jogger signature in black now. We also have the black shark fin antenna. Now let's back up and show you the whole car. It is a bit taller towards the end. You can see that the rear windows are a bit taller than the front where the driver sits. And you can see it's a big and long car. Now we have tinted windows on the back. 
had them on the duster as well, not on the Zepway, so not sure why. Uh, as you can see here, these three dots, so this one's open from the inside. Uh, it doesn't go down, obviously. Now, uh, checking this angle. So nice and tall. It's not an SUV, but it is definitely taller. You can see it. And uh, what's interesting, not to forget, so same as the Sendero Stepway, it has exhaust pipe here uh, behind the driver. And I can tell you that the uh, petrol is quite loud when it comes to exhaust from the outside. And over here, you can see drum brakes and black, so they kind of blend in with this black alloys. And over here, also Dutch a signature inside looking nice. Uh, these are just bulbs, but they're cheaper to replace. You can see inside here the turn signal. Uh, excuse me, on the top, uh, here is the reverse light, obviously. Gotta mix those up for a moment there. Uh, this is not really a spoiler. There's a stop light, washer nozzle for the rear wiper, practical, and new Dacia signature. And it really stands out, this white letters on a gray, a little bit black combo. I think it looks really nice. You get the jogger sticker. Underneath, this is little stickers wrapped on the fingers. And over here, you can see cat eyes, a kind of gray diffuser. You can see the parking sensors there. Uh, we here have one camera for the reverse and two LED lights for good illumination. Um, yeah, let's open it up. Now, let me back up so you can see the whole car. Now, I for forgot from the top of my head, I think it was something around 160 liters in this configuration with seven seats, cargo space, and then around 1,800. I'm gonna type it down. You can also take out the rear seats. And then in that case, you would get more cargo space. So let me cut in that. Cutting this in, uh, you can see that I have actually removed the back seat. It is over there. So you can see that when it's folded, you can take out the seat. So you push this down to release the seat. The seat goes down and then you pull the red tab, the seat goes up. So you can see it can fold behind the rear bench. And you can see if the front is folded and the rear is folded. You can see how much space you have. So stay with me. You can see this latch, if you push it up, or excuse me, push the red point down so the latch goes up. Now you can, obviously with two hands, take out the seat. And then when you put it back, push this up, latch back on. So there's here how you can uh, put the seats. So not 100% sure, but I think this is suggesting that you could put one seat in the middle. I might be wrong, but car is practical. So this gets locked. You have to um, believe it was, I need two hands, but um, this locks in and then you should be able to pull the seat by. So you can see once you pull that, you can raise the seat up and then it locks to upright position. You can see here you have a little strap. So that's how it looks without the seat here. I'm gonna put that everything back. You can see here the seat buckle. You can open these windows. So that's convenient. Seat pillar windows can open or close. Don't leave those open maybe when you leave the car. And you can see here, there's a little space here and cup holder. There's a little carpet you get as well. So before I show you just inside to show you two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet, that's the height, opens fairly high. So nice and tall. Uh, you can see here, you can pull to close. So it is a little bit Spartan, not too much plastic there. Now uh, I showed you here, but once again, you get this uh, rubber mat, it's part of a winter package. Now underneath here, well, this is in Croatian standard. You have a emergency triangle 
first aid box and spare bulbs fire extinguisher mandatory for company cars this is a press car so company registered you can see cloth there you can see those to the points and they actually added everything here so it's a nice fit now there's a rear seat belt that you can buckle there now let me show you here you push this down and then you can knock down the seat now you can imagine that this could get closed but let me put this actually here so stay with me and push this down knock it down so let me just show you how this looks okay I'm gonna it's gonna slip out my hand there we go that's how it looks when it's closed now there is like a little dent here so you can like hold it doesn't slip if you're using one hand as me now let me show you something else now there's a red tabs here you put pull one up and then you can put, push up the seat and it locks in there so you saw that how to unlock that you also have to push it up again to pull it back okay with video magic this is all back in place you can raise these then you can press here to lower them down and also um, here you get a little tool for the this can be taken out but uh, you can see that and you can see that and you can see here you get a batching kit so there's no spare tire obviously so this is uh, has the stickers you can just put it out there and then you just push this in the back somewhere so it doesn't make a lot of noise and it's all in one place so without that in the way we close this up fuel cap is here but you need to unlock it from the uh, driver position another look at the car and let's get inside also a little uh, regulation pulling here let's hear the opening and closing sound I would say standard Dacia not too shabby uh, door handle is a little clunky but it's okay now rear doors open very wide so it's really practical to put a child seat here you have the isofix points there now seals on the top here there's one seal there and so nothing on the bottom of the door there's an inside seal there you can push down here to lock for the kids so they cannot open from the inside for safety if you have a two-year-old three-year-old this is hard plastic it's everything spartan on the back a little space here for kids toys maybe uh, pacifiers and so on if you have kids a uh, big speaker there again uh, you can see what we have there now there's a little tab here so if you push this up you can see that and there are a few uh, labelings here suggesting how you should or how you should not separate the seats uh, over here you can see the back space now there is this divider here and it could be removed but uh, it's really not practical for me the video would be too long um, there are tether points here as well you can see cup holders uh, there's a light there so sorry to show you that there's also grocery hooks because this can be configured to five seat as well and you can see 12 outlet there you can see that there is a seat belt here there's a magnet here that holds the buckles there and they've added headspace there so uh, let's push this bench back now there is also this for the seat buckle you can put it like there you can see that hole uh, this locks into position and you can see this could be like moved so there's plenty of options uh, the bench doesn't slide back and forward now uh, here you get carpets that are just have this rigid part so they don't move and you get the uh, also little rubber carpets all weather mats uh, you can see the top there let me sit inside so again yeah not to miss this is a textile 
a little contrast stitching there looking nice okay so I was sitting in the front and I got comfortable and yeah you can see that the knee is uh, our problem if the taller person is sitting on the front now also you get a little table here but I can extend it since I was way back maybe I can try it here so just fits here so this could be like a tablet holder and look at this it extends so let me just see here yeah so you have a cup holder there and like if you have kids you can put a tablet here like an iPad or something although um, I'm not a parent but what I've heard from other parents don't let your kids uh, you know watch too many videos it's not good for the concentration and so on I'm not a parent but I'm sure that you know uh, professionals uh, who are uh, you know no to kids psychology and everything else uh, would agree with this now uh, moving on uh, let's close the doors so yeah the closing sound is slightly noisy it's a big boxy car so have that in mind once again yeah it, it shakes a little bit rattles and so on now um, you can see here 12 volt outlet unfortunately no AC vents so it might be hot here in the back so consider that uh, there is this here so I guess just to easier take out this bench because this one's like uh, 60 40 the other two can be taken out separately you can see big windows big C pillar window you can open that I showed you that uh, three sides besides the driver have this uh, handles there's a little hook there there are light switch they're warm no lights on the back though uh, actually kind of tight if I straighten up so yeah uh, I can fit for a short journey but for an average person it would be okay but I wouldn't be comfortable now it's getting hot so uh, let's open the doors and I'll go to the front uh, seat belts are not adjustable headrests can be raised and then you press here and you can lower that down so let's get on the front if you buy this car you're probably going to be driving it not sitting on the back blind spot warning I don't think there are any yeah bottle lights nothing like that get that little Dacia welcome sound and front doors open also quite wide uh, same seals tire pressure information is here uh, check your tire pressure once a month and if you have more cargo you need to have a little bit higher tire pressure so read the manual this is hard plastic but the driver and the front passenger is treated with this cloth on the front now you have this in white and this as well now on the Sendero stepway that was in kind of orange or amber color you can adjust the mirrors electronically in this case they do not fold you can press to lock the rear so the kids cannot play with them I believe only the driver's side is fully automatic despite the labeling here so just a little cut in you can see the windows do not go all the way down on the back but it's almost so it's okay now this one is as you can see not fully automatic only the driver one is you can see that and you can see you can put a water bottle there there's a speaker at the bottom now showing here push this up to slide back and forward the whole seat up and down push up to tilt the seat and there's no lumbar support on all the Dodges I've tested recently the Duster, Sendero Stepway all the cars same problem the seats are not comfortable for longer journeys after an hour you get some butt pain back pain lower end and you need to stretch so if you're doing a uh, taxing I would not recommend this um, also um, this seat can get lowered that one cannot so the passenger front seat cannot raise oh, excuse me lower now uh, you, you can see here there's the original jogger carpets uh, they have these holes uh, I left these also original above those we're gonna pop the bonnet later you can see those manual this is a fuse box not a compartment lights height this is manually adjusted 
Um, I don't think this is a speaker. It's just a vent for maybe electronics. You can see the top view there and let's jump inside. So switching to wide lens. Now, this is a point of view. I can see the hood a little bit. I'm a taller person. Good overview on the sides and good overview on the back. You can see further, but it's okay. Zooming back in. Now, well, good closing sound on the front, slightly better than on the rear. This is padded, hard plastic. Everything is hard plastic. There's a speaker there. USB-A, there's a mount here for your phone mount. It's optional in the glove compartment. You have the screen here. And let me show you the glove compartment. So it's not slowly opening over here. That's the phone mount. You can, um, well, let me just move this around. So you can see you can move it and like you can put it there. Now this is rubberized, so it extends. And you can see those things there that move. Now, uh, you get a little manual there. Let me show you the spec here. So, that's a Jogger Extreme 7 seat, 1.0 TCI, 110 horsepower, 6 speed manual. Base uh, price would be 22300 And then you get the um, you know, eight inch screen and navigation, 420 euros, and then extreme package, including like blind spot and some other stuff, 390. Uh, front here, it sees 150 euros and metallic uh, urban gray color, 560. In total price comes to 23,000 euros, 820. Below is price in Kunas, including uh, value added tax, 25% and CO2 tax, which is high. Um, yeah, this is definitely, expensive uh, you can see that it's very roomy in there and let me put this back in yeah i mean the prices are a bit high you know uh, they haven't changed a lot but they've raised the price so i always say there's a customer for every product but the prices today are inflated uh, i'll have to turn on the engine so there's a start stop button here just to get some ac inside it's super hot see that now I'll just put this on automatic there it won't be too loud hopefully uh, now let's check the steering wheels so we have as you can see here nice texture four spoke steering wheel I uh, love the new Dacia signature there so yeah nice and cool but let me just lower that I don't want it to be too too loud and now here is cruise control and speed limiter you press set and then you can go up and down to adjust the speed uh, on the side we have voice commands not available in every country but uh, usually English or French you know some of the bigger countries in Europe uh, here you can change the little screen there so you have uh, physical needles and gauges they do a little test run uh, looks nice now you press here you can switch the digital speedo so you use this for changing and up and down so you can see here got tire pressure temperature of the engine uh, oil and here are the digital speedo one that I like to have on and here you can see the odometer you can see the average uh, I need to test the car because it's just that's the average it, the car has thousand kilometers on it. it's brand new range and distance and average speed so uh, in my night uh, point of view driving prior to that I'll do a little consumption test so I'm going to tell you if you cruise uh, with less traffic what's uh, the fuel consumption this is currently the fuel consumption the engine has passed the braking period but still needs to be driving this is being driven through the city um, on an event before I picked it up so it's a high fuel consumption um, yeah, and here, uh, let's just briefly cover the infotainment. Uh, just not to forget, um, wiper controls, rear wiper, uh, droplet size, automatic, uh, keep your lights out automatic, uh, turn signals classical. Uh, here, volume up and down, mute, source, and modes. And there's a little wheel here, 
the back you can change like radio stations there's just some different say some music actually no okay radio okay i'll come back to this there's a radio so i'll come back when there's some music there's actually like news and so on at the moment now very basic i'm going to go through this quickly because i've uh, went in detail in duster and stepway so navigation you have to agree here uh, now it's very basic and it's okay um, there's a menu here you can have uh, traffic map updates uh, map settings route uh, you can have speed warnings uh, and so on um, vehicle driving eco there's like a coach you need to hold it and you can you know try to be more eco while driving uh, anticipate when you need to you know let go of the acceleration and so on uh, you can see those so I'm just gonna run through quickly and uh, there's a smartphone integration so you can connect via Bluetooth and have Apple CarPlay I'm gonna cut that in a bit later and here are settings so you have volume um, sound options so we have here for all the devices uh, sounds and then you have here actually show that display options uh, devices and system so it is very basic this is the whole menu so you have volume here as well you can switch it off then you have this and sorry uh, navigation now if you switch this to like lights on don't drive like this uh, everything is illuminated but outside at night like your main lights are not on you have to put it like this I just wanted to show you, you can have night mode or you can have light mode it's automatic uh, but keep your lights on automatic at, at all the time so at night you're gonna turn automatically on and off now um, there's a little uh, here thing 3d you can zoom in zoom out uh, you can press here shortcut for the radio uh, menu and so on uh, but you can use you know Apple CarPlay so uh, let's hopefully uh, see some radio stations there's a list here let me just actually find something else um, you can see here you can like switch stations or like manually you have the presets you can like hold and memorize your favorite let's see if there's music now <laughs> Now, I can't play this for too long, but I have to keep talking. You know, basic speakers, okay sound, not terrible, but not great as well. And um, I'm gonna cut in the Apple CarPlay at the end, just to show you here, we have heated seats, to so have two settings. You can lock the car, it locks when you start driving, hazards, you cannot see them for the driver, and passenger airbag information, uh, auto start, stop off. And here you have eco driving, uh, you can just messages here if you turn it on and if you turn this on AC nice and physical controls you can control the fan speed you can control the temperature uh, you can press it on automatic turn on the AC and here you can have max blow rear defrost close the air circulation and uh, choose the air direction so very uh, basic but it's very nice as well everything is practical ac controls uh, over here you have total outlet uh, usb a for charging this is all plastic here and uh let me just show you the if you go uh up first gear that's reverse you can see the reverse camera is kind of blurry it gives you projections when you move so it's okay you can play here with the contrast and so on uh, the gears are better than before not too precise but a little bit longer uh, shifting but it's decent it's okay and here you have electronic parking brake two cup holders but look at this now very bad experience I've placed this here but when I uh, speed up or brake this happens it just like falls down and it's re really you know not that good they should have uh, maybe added something more than just just this at the bottom this is all plastic you can put a key here if if the key fob battery is low this is 
uh, kind of soft, barely uh, push this up. There's a little space here, not too big, but you can put some personal stuff there. It does not extend, it's fixed. And uh, on the front, plenty of headroom. Over here, you can see further in the back, uh, lights are warm, temperature sensor, emergency call, uh, speaker for the Bluetooth calls, document holder, you can have privacy mirror here. This does not extend, but it's covering it almost all, so it's okay. And uh, let me cut in Apple CarPlay. So I did test this um, comment someone left in one of my other reviews. Uh, no, the Apple CarPlay does not work without the cable. You need to use this for media. Maybe you need to use it first time. I didn't uh, get the cable now. I'll cut it in the night review. Uh, I'll take the cable with me because it didn't take at this point. But you do have Apple CarPlay. And um, just something to show you here before I turn off the uh, uh, engine. Hear this. So you can hear the petrol nicely, but check this out. If I step out with the key and I close the door, the car honks and tells you like you left your engine on. Now let's turn it off and let's show the engine bay. Now, let me see here. So, you can see here, to the right of the badge, push to the left, up and left. You can see the mechanism. And here it is. You have to use a little like here, but uh, this is also metal and heavy. Now, this is the, again, 1.0 TCE. It's a three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine producing 110 horsepower. There's also 90 horsepower version. To be honest, I've tested the, the other car, the 90 version, and this 110, I really don't feel too much difference. Maybe this car is slightly bigger, so that's the reason why. And, you know, it's okay. And your washer fluid is in black right there. So let it drop and leave everything else to the mechanics. Sign there and there. Don't wash your engine bay with pressure washer. Let it drop, close this perfectly, and also check this out. If I hold the lock, I can lock it the first time, but then the second time, uh, actually no, uh, I had a theory there. So if you didn't close the doors properly, like the trunk, and you try to lock it, it's gonna hunk like I showed you as well to let you know that you haven't properly closed everything. So that's it, that's the Dacia Jogger. Uh, check out the night point of view review for more impressions on how this car feels on the road. And for the end, uh, it's a little bit cloudy, so you can see the color now and the LED projectors. So just quick walk around. So the color is really nice. It's really nice combo. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Hope you liked the video. If you did, be a cool person, give this video a like. You leave your comment below. How do you like the new jogger with the new Dacia logo? If you like this type of review, do subscribe, it's completely free. Thank you for watching, stay safe, bye.